So today we're out doing a follow-up to an, uh, an evaluation we did on this system. This house is going through a sale right now. It's supposed to close in about a week. Uh, built four years ago and has an aerobic treatment unit going to a field. We dug it up here. Our competitor claimed that it was what's called SB2, which that product hasn't even been made for over 10 years. Uh, house was built after SB2 was not used any longer. They said it was SB2 and that's why it was failing. Um, we dug it up and it's not SB2, it's actually chambers, which is very common. The problem with this is this ground out here in this subdivision is so poor, this is installed too low in the ground. So I'm 23 inches, going by my probe, I'm 23 inches to the top of the chambers. These are low profile chambers, so they're eight inches tall. So I'm basically 31 inches to the bottom of the trench, which out here, that's about where the water table is. So right now, that system is not working. It's flooded, clear back up into the clean out. So I'm gonna probe down, I'm gonna actually pierce the top of this chamber and see what we get coming back up at us. I, su I suppose there's gonna be water coming up out of it because it's so full right now, but let's find out. So I've pierced it. Now, well, I don't know if you heard the sucking motion, but there's definitely some water in there. Usually I can get these to shoot up out of the ground. Uh, I've had them actually spray up and hit me in the face before it's been under so much pressure. So this one, I actually heard the noise. I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera or not. Definitely full. I know that because the tank is full. Yeah, it just hit me in the face. Right in the eye. Well, not in the eye, I had glasses on, but right under my eye. So yeah, it just shot up out of the ground. I knew it was gonna happen, and I still got hit in the face. Anyway, so this field is full right now, not working. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pump it into the chambers, into a new field, install a brand new field. So we're looking at probably around $4,000 for a pump chamber and going into a whole new leach field on a house that's only about four years old. Luckily, this guy had a home inspection and a septic inspection. Since home inspectors aren't allowed to do septic inspections, they actually called and had one done. We're skeptical of the results from the first, um, first guy that came out. So they called us for a second opinion, and uh, while I agree that it is failing, the first guy just had his, uh, well, he didn't even take the time to dig it up and tell him what it was exactly. He just made stuff up and put it on the report. Interesting.